Hello, welcome back to Mountain Games, and today I have a different video for you. So I've got Nintendo DS 200, was it 208 in one game. This is from Wish, um, and it's basically ROMs put onto an SD card, put into a Nintendo DS cartridge, and you can play some games on the DS. Um, and amazingly, I think I've brought this for like £25. Now it's quite expensive, especially from Wish, because it's Wish. But the fact it's got like all the Pokemon games, uh, Mario games, it's got the Zelda games on here, um, Castlevania, Okami, Dragon Ball Z games, Kirby games. They weren't like the rubbish NES emulated games you normally get in these sort of deals. These are proper DS games and 208 of them for £25. And like most of the Pokemon ones are worth more than £25. I know this is a bit dodgy because it's obviously just ROMs put onto an SD card. Um, which I don't agree with, but for £25 I had to try it and see if it is correct and it has all the games on there and see if they work. So I'm going to go through all the games on here now uh, and show you what's on there. But first I'll show you the cartridge to see what that's like. I have tested a few of these games and all the games I've played have worked so far and the saves work just fine. So it seems to be pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'll now show you the cartridge itself and then go through all the games on this cartridge to see what's inside. Um, yeah. So first of all, let's take a look at the case itself. So this is the case. I you see all the like, featured games on there. Obviously there's like 200 and, uh, 208, even though it's about 108, uh, 128 there. I'm not sure what that means. It says 208 in one, one, two, eight G. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Um, it's proper like DS case. Obviously that is like proper like paint style, but, um, look at the back. Again, it's got some more games on there, and it's got a list of games on there as well. But I'll go through the games in a minute. So let's open this up. I you see it's got the game in there, so it's like a proper, proper case. Let's take this out. So here is the cartridge itself. Um, I mean, not great, like, artwork on there, but what do you expect? And it actually works on the 3DS as well, even though they're all DS games. But it's got Nintendo New 3DS on there for some reason, and it's got a weird, like, red... Okay, but that's where the SD card is, obviously. Yeah, let's stick this in the 3DS and see the games on there. So I'm about to move the camera slides just to get this in a better like, picture. But this is my Monster Hunter, Ultimate, uh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate new 3DS. And this is the game in there now. So for some reason it comes up with Spongebob Atlantis Squarepants THQ. For some random reason it's got a Spongebob logo. Not sure why, but that's the game. So you click through. And yeah, so by the looks of it, you maybe can add more ROMs to the SD card, like Game Boy, uh, Mega Drive, PC Engine, Neo Geo, Atari, and some blank ones there, which I swear did have some of those on last time I played this. But yeah, um, you want to go to Nintendo DS, and it will load all the games. So you got Pokemon Black 2, Pokemon White 2, Pokemon Black, Pokemon White, Pokemon Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Diamond, Pearl. Yes, yeah, so it has all the like the main IDS. Um, oh, on to the end. All the main IDS Pokemon games on there, which like I said is really cool. I've played two or three of them and saved them, and they all seem to work. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you got Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Conquest, Rain, uh, Pokemon Rangers Shadows, I think more Rangers, Pokemon Link, which I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's the is that the free DS game? I don't know. Uh, so it goes into Mario games and you've got Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Kart DS, Super Mario 64 DS, Mario Party DS, um, Mario Luigi's Part in Time, I've never actually played that so that would be quite a cool one to play, uh, Mario vs Donkey Kong 2, Mario Luigi Browser's Inside Story, uh, Mario vs Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem, Mario Slam, um, which is a basketball game I think, Mario Sonic Olympics, Mario Sonic Olympics there, Yoshi Touch and Go, Tetris DS, Kirby Mass Attack, Super Kirby Superstar Ultra, uh, Squeak Squad, Kirby, another Kirby Paint, is that Power Paintbrush? Uh, I'm not sure that is. Pixel D, oh, it's Harvest Moon, another Harvest Moon. Some more, I don't know, there's so many Harvest Moons on the DS, but yeah, there's quite a lot of Harvest Moons on here. Um, then Rune Factory, which I've heard of, but I've not really played them. Rune Factory 2, 3, 
uh, Castlevania, 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 Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest, Sonic Classic Collection. Now, I played this, and it's pretty cool. It has, like, all of the Mega Drive Sonic games on there, even, like, the, um, the Knuckles expansion, which is pretty cool. Um, I didn't know that was actually a proper game. I won't actually get the physical copy of that now, because it is pretty awesome. The fact you play, like, um, Sonic and Knuckles um, on a handheld is, is pretty cool. Then we've got Dora Explorer. Ice Age 4, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, uh, Lost in Blue, Luminous, Luminous Art 2, Sims 3, Monster Tail, Legend of Car Cage, what is it? Uh, Ragnarok Online. I'm not sure you guys play that because it's an online game. I'm not sure this will link up to the online servers. Uh, Children of Mana, Sword of Mana, Fantasy Star Zero, Chronicles of Narnia, Fan uh, Final Fantasy 3, uh, Final Fantasy 4. Uh, Shenzi, Final Fantasy, I'm not sure what it is. Um, Final Fantasy Tactics A2, I'm not sure what that means. I, I'm guessing it's just Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, Final Fantasy 7, Revenant Wings, I'm, I don't know what that is. Is that a spin off Final Fantasy game? Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, Crystal Chronicles, and there's Pre Professor Layton, uh, two Sparrow games on there. Mushy Monsters, Zoo Tycoon, which I had a physical copy. I don't know if I still do actually. I might have a physical copy of that game, but I really love that game. Um, but when I played it on this, and it, it's quite hard to play um, for a DS game. Star Wars Force Unleashed 2, Aliens Invest Investigation, Summon Knights, Cooking Mama, Cooking Mama, Cooking Mama, Gardening Mama, Cooking Mama, Cooking Mama. And it's got all, like, all Nintendo as well. So Nintendo's Best Friends, Dash Town, Chihuahua, Labrador, Dalmatian. Um, big catch, bass fishing, one piece game. I uh, have no idea what that is, not gonna say it. Ghost Trick, Riven Paradise, Sim, uh, Sim City, Okami, uh, The World End of You, which makes a really good game. I don't have that, so I'm gonna have to give that a go. Astro Boy, Call of Duty, James Bond, Bloodstone, Metro Prime Hunters, uh, Salute to Robo. I oh, know, I don't like this. Assassin's Creed 2, Clone, uh, Lego Star Wars 3 Clone Wars, Tomb Raider Underworlds, Harry Potter and Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and Phoenix, Batagon, I uh, never played that, James James Cameron, oh yeah, it's Avatar, obviously, uh, Super Robot, whatever it is, Animal Crossing Wild Worlds, which I'm not sure would be work really well on this, uh, but it's on there, Lego Batman, Barnacles, Lego Star Wars 2, um, M Plus, I have no idea what that is. The Amazing Spider-Man, Madagascar, Spider-Man, Web of Shadows. It's another Spider-Man, more, more Spider-Man, loads of Spider-Man. Transformers, Advanced Wars are on here, Worms, Green Lantern. I have no idea, that looks like a, I don't know, that game. Metal Slug, Alien 4, oh, Ben 10, sorry. It's ben 10 games, and Grand Theft Auto, Chinatown. Um, I think that might be Dragon Ball Z game, just by the artwork. I'm not too sure. The Smurfs, and it's got all three Crash Bandicoot games, even Crash Boom Bang is on here. So even I have all my Crash games now, but they're on here. There's one like complete collection, I guess. Oh, I'll just, I'll just skip it. Yeah, just Ninja Town. Why oh, you keep skipping? Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ninja Reflex, Ninja Naruto games. Uh, yeah, Dragon Ball Z game. There you go, one there. I have no idea. There's more Dragon Ball Z games, more Dragon Ball Z games. Titanic. Um, Kingdom Hearts on here, Pass for Zombies, Digimon Championship, more Digimon games, Bomberman, Fire Emblem, Tetris, Phoenix Wright, um, The Grood, The Croods, I've never seen that film, Shrek Forever, Kung Fu Panda, Iron Man, Mystery Castle, Mystery Story, um, Chronicles of, I don't know what it is, Jaws Master, see so when it gets this but I'm not sure what these games are, uh, FIFA is on here, Mr. Driller, Bubble Bubble, Cars, Games, I don't know what it is, Air Traffic, Chaos, Action Loop, and yeah, it's back to the start. So there is 208 games on there, and they're all pretty good games. I mean, they all seem to work. Let's do, let's do Mario Kart DS, just to see what it's like. So yeah, it all just looks like a normal Mario Kart game. It 
let's just do a quick a time trial. Has to pick the armor man Luigi. He is Portuguese four thousand. Let's just do yeah, figure eight one. Camera well beautiful. Let's say how to play this. That's the wise one boost not coming on. But yeah, the game seems to play really well and so when I've saved like the Pokemon games, they the save worked, so they all seem to work fine for me. Let's just do one lap of this. But yeah, like I said the games seem to work, they look great, they all seem to function absolutely fine. So yeah. That is the Nintendo 208 games in one from Wish. All places and it seems to work. So after looking through all of that, I do think this is worth it. Like for me as a collector, I would never add this to my collection. I'll never say I've got all of these games in my collection. I still want the actual physical games themselves to actually play on the system. Um, it's a good way to experience the games. Um, and for someone who's never played Pokemon games or some of the Mario DS games, um, I would say it's worth picking up just because it has all the games on there and they work. Um, and you can actually play it on the physical hardware. So unlike emulating on PC, we have to play through the PC, you can actually play this on physical hardware, which is really cool. So if you don't have much money and you want to experience some cool DS games, go to wish i mean this is this is pretty good there was like a few other ones on there we had like 400 games and there's ones that were cheaper than this 25 pound one uh so i don't know what they're like and they had the similar case but this is like it's called the super combo pokemon mario pack so look for that if you want to pick it up um i thought i think it's great i mean i'm not a, like i said before i'm not a fan of emulating and rom hacks put onto an sd card and sold for money because it's just not right but if you want to experience the games on hardware for cheap it, it's pretty good and it all works so yeah anyway thanks for watching love you please get a thumbs up from your channel or subscribe bye